Hello everyone and welcome back to our lesson three from unit seven, year one phonics. Today we're going to start off again with some phonemic awareness. So that is, I want you to put, turn your listening ears on and we're going to do our long vowel stretch and our short vowel squat to some words. Okay, so our first word is dad. Say the word with me, dad, d, a, d. Is that a long a or a, sorry, a long a or a short a? Dad, it's short, isn't it? So let's huddle down and make ourselves short like a little short A. Good job. Our next word is a different vowel. So you have to listen and see if it's a long vowel sound or a short vowel sound. The word is dream. Can you say dream? Dream, good job. Let's say the sounds. D, R, E, M. D, R, E, M. It's a long sound, isn't it? So let's stretch up nice and big and tall like a long E. Good job. Our next word is crash. Oh, that's a loud word. You have to say that one loudly or else it's not fun. So let me hear you say it nice and loudly. You ready? Crash. Good job. Let's listen for the sounds. K -r -a -sh. It's a short A, ah, isn't it? So let's make ourselves little and short. Crash. Good job. Our next word is clay. K -u -a. It's a long sound and it's at the end of the word. Long sound. Good job. Okay, our next word is ray. R A. Long sound. Good job. Our next word is rat. R A T. Short sound. Ah. Short little ah. Good job. Our next word is egg. E G. Is that a short sound? Yes, it is. Down you pop. And our last word for today is meat. It's lovely to meet you. Let's say that word together. Meet. M eat. I hope I can see everyone standing up nice and tall. Good job. It's time for us to practice some of the sounds that you learnt previously. So remember we're going to say the letter name, the name of the keyword, and then the sound that the phoneme makes. Let's review our previously learnt phonemes. E, egg, e. Q, U, queen, qu. P, pig, p. H, hat, h. B, bed, b. A double F, cliff, f. Double L, bell, u. Double Z, buzz, z. Double S, dress, s. CK, duck, k. SH, shell, sh. TH, thumb. And the second sound, feather, v. Good job. CH, cheese, ch. WH, whale, w. NG, ring, ng. A I rain A A Y play A. Excellent work. And our tricky words is the a uh, I as said. And the last one, so. I said so. Ha, that worked well, didn't it? Okay, let's review some of our definitions. So a phoneme is a single sound in a word. Let me hear you say that with me. A phoneme is a single sound in a word. Good job. A grapheme is a letter or group of letters that represent a single sound. Let's say that together. A grapheme is a letter or group of letters that represent a single sound. Good job. And our last one, a digraph is two letters together that represent one sound. Can we do that together? A digraph is two letters together that represent one sound. Good job. We're going to review some of our digraphs today. So let's just remember the digraphs that we've been looking at. So we've been looking at AI says A in the middle of a word. Yesterday we looked at AY says A at the end of a word. Here are some other digraphs that we're going to revisit today. CH says ch. 
and G says mm, and WH says oh. Good job. So let's have a look at these words together and we'll just start off having a look at the digraphs in the word. Oh, we know this one because this is our keyword from yesterday, isn't it? All A. All A. I like to play. We all like to play, don't we? Play. Good job. The next one, A I. Is this at the end of a word? No, there's a letter there. So we know it has to be the A sound. D R A N. What word? Drain. Good job. St A. Here's our A at the end of the word again. St a stay good job and this word I hope this is working hard for you right now B -r -a -n. brain that's right what's the word if we take away the b rain good job okay let's read these words again together play drain stay brain Come on. let's read them together but a little bit more quickly you ready play Drain, stay, brain. Good job. Let's have a look at our next row. Oh, two digraphs. I like these tricky digraph words. Qu, i, k, quick. Oh, that's how we read the last row of words, isn't it? Quick. D, a, day. Ch, a, n. Chain. We've seen that word before. Qu, a, u. Quail, we've seen that word before. I wonder if you remember I told you it looks a bit like a little mini chicken. They're pretty cute. Let's read these words together. Quick, day, chain, quail. Good job. Let's read them quickly. Quick, day, chain, quail. Excellent job. Our last line. Oh, we haven't seen this word before. M, A, N, main. T, A, O. Tail. Notice both of these words have the AI in the middle of the word to make the A sound. What about this word? M A. The A sounds at the end of the word, so it's an AY. Excellent. May. And our last word, THUD. THUD. That's a sound. Okay, let's read these words together. Are you ready? Main, tail, may, thud. And quickly, main, tail, may, thud. Excellent work. Okay, it's time for you to grab a pen and paper and get ready to do some spelling. So you can pause me and I'm just going to do a silly face ready for you to pause. You ready? Okay, we're back and we've all got our paper. Let's go. So these are the sounds that we're going to be using for our spelling words today. We have AI says A in the middle of a word. A-Y says A at the end of a word. C-H says ch, N-G, N, W-H, W. So write those down for me. You can pause if you want. Okay, our first word today is chain. Say chain with me. Chain, ch, A, N. Good job. Let's write our dashes. So ch is a digraph. A, N. Okay, I know how to spell ch for the start of chain, that's easy. Now which A do I need? It's, is it at the end of a word or in the middle? It's in the middle because we've got an N on the end. So we're going to have to use this one, aren't we? A, N. Good job. If your chain looks like my chain, give yourselves a tick. Okay, our next word is our keyword, play. Say play with me, play. Good job. Let's sound it out. U A. U A. Oh, this time our A sounds at the end of the word. Have a go at writing it. If you're not sure, you can look at mine in a minute. Go. U A. Play. If your play looks like mine, give yourselves a tick. Excellent. Our last word is main. I'm going to go for a walk down the main street. Say the word with me, main, main. Good, let's sound it out, m, a, n. Our a sounds in the middle again, isn't it? M, 
A N. Mane. If your mane looks like mine, give yourselves a tick. If it doesn't, fix it up and um, then give yourselves a tick. Good job. Today, we're going to be learning a new digraph. And this time, instead of a long A sound, we're going to be making a long E sound. So here's, oh, here's our digraph, double E. Here's our keyword, feet. Everyone point to your feet. How many have you got? Good job. E, T, feet. So double E says E. Okay, let's do some sky writing. So stand up, get your sky writing fingers ready, and let's go. E, E says E. E, E says E. E, E, E says E. Good job. Okay, we're going to stand up, pop your, pop your finger pencils in your pocket and get ready for some Kung Fu blending. So I'm going to give you some E words and we're going to do some Kung Fu blending. So you remember how this goes. We bow to the word, punch out the sounds, bow to the word. Okay, get ready. Our first word is B. B. B, E, B, good job. Next word is <laughs> weep. You ready? Weep, w, eep, weep, which means really cry hard. Our next word is meat, meat, mm, eat, meat, good job. Our next word is three, three. Or e. Three. Good job. Excellent work. Now let's read some words with the digraph double E in them. Oh, there's lots of words here. I can see lots of E's. Let's see how we go reading these words. Eat. That's our key word, isn't it? Feet. G -r -e -n. Green. It's a beautiful colour. G R, eat, greet, d, eep, deep. Let's read those words together. Feet, green, greet, deep. Good job. Let's read them quickly. Feet, green, greet, deep. Excellent work. Next row, let's underline our digraphs. S, e, c, w, eek, week, st. Eep, steep. That's a tricky word. It's also tricky to walk up a steep hill. K, eep, keep. Good job. Let's read those words together. C, weak, steep, keep. Excellent. And quickly, C, weak, steep, keep. Excellent. And our last row, f, eed, feed. K, r, eep, creep. B, Eep, beep. Can you all make a beeping noise? Beep, beep. And finally, t, e, teeth. Let's read those words together. Feed, creep, beep, teeth. Good job. I'm going to give you some clues and I'd like you to read the words and see if you can find the answer. Okay, I'd like you to find a word in the second row that tells us what seven days is on our calendar? So if I say Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's one whole, you got it, week. Good job. Okay, I've got one more clue, a tricky word I want you to find. This is something that I need to brush every night before I go to bed. Yep, my feet. No, hang on. Do you brush your feet before you go to bed? I don't brush mine. Let's see if you can find something that you brush before you go to bed in the bottom row. That's right, you brush your teeth. I hope you do anyway, or else they might turn green. Blech. Okay, time to grab your pen and pencil and pop that in front of you. We're going to write double E. So at the top of your page, write E. Double E says E. Okay, our first word is feet. I have two 
feet. Say the word with me. Feet. F e t. F e t. You have a go at writing the word. If you're not sure, you can watch me. E t. If your feet look like my feet, I hope they're smaller. Give yourselves a tick. Okay, our next word is sheep. Can you say that word with me? Sheep. Sheep. So we've got a couple of digraphs now. Sheep. You have a go at writing sheep. 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 If your sheep looks like mine, you can give it a tick. And our last word is Queen. We have a picture of Queen Elizabeth on all of our coins. Say the word with me, Queen. Qu e n. Good job. Let's write the qu e n. Qu e n. If your queen looks like my queen, give yourselves a tick. Excellent work. What I would like you to notice here is that most of the time when we see double e, it's in the middle of a one syllable word. Good job. Let's read some passages together and practice our reading fluently. Let's have a look at these words. Lots of the digraph E, C, the weeds on the steep street wall. Let's read it together. C, the weeds on the steep street. Sounds like my street. Let's read it again. See the weeds on the steep street. Good job. Let's read it again quickly like we would if we were reading a book. See the weeds on the steep street. It's almost a tongue twister. That's a tricky one, isn't it? Good job. Let's have a look at another sentence together. Oh, the queen sleeps, sleeps on green sheets. Does she? Let's read that sentence together. The queen sleeps on green sheets. Good job. Let's read it together more fluently. The queen sleeps on green sheets. Lovely. Good job. Time now for some dictation. So if you could grab something to write with and your paper and pop that back on the floor in front of you, that would be great. Okay, we're ready for some dictation. Here's our sentence, listen carefully. The creek is deep and green. Sounds like it'll be cold and a bit spooky, doesn't it? Listen again. The creek is deep and green. Try and say it with me. The creek is deep and green. Let's count the words. The creek is deep and green. So six letters this time. Let's get ready. So what do we need at the beginning of a sentence every time I ask myself a capital letter? So our first word, what are we talking about? We're talking about the creek. So you write down the creek. Let's go. The creek. Good. What is the creek? Is the keep, creek, I can't speak, is the creek deep or shallow? The creek is deep. Let's write that. The creek is deep. Is deep. It's not only deep, it's also a murky colour. The creek is deep and green. Can you say that with me? And green. Let's add that to our sentence. And g r e n green. Good job. Have a look at your sentence. If it doesn't look like mine, that's okay. Press pause and you can fix it up so that it does look like today's. Fantastic work today. Today we have learnt a new digraph, and that new digraph is the double E that makes the long E. E sound in our keyword feet. Great work today everyone. I'm really proud of all of us. I think I've done a sensational job and I think you've done a sensational job too. So here's some homework for you to do before our next lesson. 
I'd like you to have a look at each of these words and read them first of all. So f, e, t. Then what I'd like you to do is keep that sound in your head, feet, or keep the word in your head. Say the sounds, the phonemes, f, e, t. And then write the word out while you say the phonemes out loud. F, e, t. When you've done that, I'd like you to dot, dash, dive. All of your words. When you've finished feet, keep going through as many of these words as you can. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.